When it comes to my content, I'm always trying to produce the best product as possible. And one area I thought I could improve on was the sound acoustics of my audio recordings. So I reached out to Taylor Lewin, the composer we've worked with who produces most of the music we actually use. I thought I'd see what advice he had for me for improving my audio recordings and share that with you in another practical how to make everything episode. This is basically where I do most of my recording. Stand ups in front of this wall, this corner, and then do voiceover in this room also. It's basically my home office. What can I do to make it better? There's a few things that you can do for free right yeah. away. Yeah. Um, and that's eliminate all your noises. Secondly, would just to be treat any um, hard spaces that would, they're called early reflections. Mm -hmm. Anything where sound could bounce off of and make your recording kind of sound like it's in an office or it is cheap or mm -hmm. something like that. Let's turn off all the noises, like the fan. Okay. Let's start working on those hard surfaces. So one thing I've heard is that egg cartons can help. Uh, so I've been collecting egg cartons. It's better than nothing, yeah. but it's not gonna be ideal. Well, let's try them out and see how it does. Let's do it. So we got all the egg cartons I've saved. You can go like this, and it'll kind of diffuse the sound as well as absorb it in there. This is the most professional thing I've ever seen. Yes, this is how you <laughs> impress clients. <laughs> Test recording now? Yeah, let's do it. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. And we'll face the hard side out so we're not giving you any benefit of the doubt. This is the control with no treatment. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. Sal Sally sells seashells at the seashore. See, this is really not fair, because I get tongue twisted on normal conversations. Next, we tried another cheap solution that will likely be better, using couch cushions and blankets. All right, check, check, check. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. This is the control. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. So basically those are some free-ish options for putting this together. Uh, if you want to spend a little bit more money, how much how much better is that going to get? It's going to be way easier to set up and it's going to look cooler. Yeah. So if you want to look legit, mm -hmm. I definitely recommend it. Um, but it's going to do the same stuff and it's going to be out of the way. You won't have to maneuver or make a fort every time you record it. So fortunately for us, we have AeroZoom gave us a bunch of free samples of their product so that I can install it here with your help and see if that, how that compares to the free method. All right, so we got 24 of these. This is nice thick foam though, so it's gonna absorb, a, like, it's pretty dense too. Yeah. So it's gonna absorb, like, down into your mid-frequency range which is like a thick couch cushion, but just nice and little. <laughs> For a flexible sound dampening solution, Taylor suggested making a couple panels from the foam where I can move around and adjust depending on where I'm recording. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. Sally sells seashells at the shore. Seashore. So for most of the time I'm doing my voiceover, I just sit on my computer here. Is there anything specifically I can do to improve this? Uh, yeah, there's just a couple things. Buying or creating some sort of mic shield to cover up the reflections from the computer screen um, could also help. But if you have a five gallon bucket around or something like that and have some extra sound foam, you can put it in that, or you could even make it with a towel and a bucket. That way it's just a little bit more isolated, a little more focused on your voice.
Sally sells seashells at the seashore. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. Thanks to Taylor's help, I now have a few simple suggestions for improving my audio recordings. We shut off everything we could that makes noise, treated the reflective surfaces that are going to interfere while you're shooting. We created a little vocal booth for you, uh, so you don't have to get too uncomfortable when you're recording your VO. So I think it's quite a bit deader in here. I think this should help quite a bit. Thanks for all the help. Thank you. Thank you to AeroZoom for the free product. If you are interested in getting your own AeroZoom acoustic foam, check out the discount code in the description and you can get 10% off your order. Also, thanks again to Taylor Lewin. If you enjoy the music you've heard in this video, or in pretty much all of our other videos, you can check out more of Taylor's composing work on his website. He's also just starting his own YouTube channel, which you can check out for more audio recording suggestions.